This system equation has one solution. Let's go and figure out what exactly it is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use the elimination method. So to use the elimination method, I want the coefficient of the same variable to be exactly the same. And preferably for the elimination method, I like to add the two equations. That means I want the coefficients to be not only exactly the same, but one positive and one negative. So here you can see I have a positive two. That means I wanna make this a negative two, but I can't randomly pull a negative two out of the hat. I need to multiply the whole equation by a negative two. So I'm gonna multiply negative two times x, negative two times negative two y, and a negative two times uh, four. Since I'm not doing anything with this top equation, I'm just gonna go ahead and rewrite it down below. Okay, so now you can see that I have the exact same coefficient, one positive and one negative. And so now I can go ahead and add these two equations to eliminate my variable x, because you can see it's going to be a zero x, which again, we don't really need a zero x anymore, right? Zero x is just a zero. So also right in there, you can see why this is not gonna matter. Then I have a negative y plus four y, which is going to be a three y, and that is going to equal a negative four. So again, you can see zero plus three y, I just don't need that, right? So we don't need to write it in there. Now let's go and solve for y. Divide by three on both sides, I get y is equal to a negative four thirds. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, that's only part of the solution. When we're looking at a system of equations, we're looking for the intersection point. That means it has an x as well as a y coordinate. So therefore, we know what the y coordinate is, negative four thirds. Now we need to be able to figure out what the x is. So to do that, all I'm simply gonna do is plug in my y into one of these equations. I'm gonna choose the top equation and to go ahead and solve for x. So in this case, I have a two x minus a negative four thirds is equal to a positive four. So minus a negative, that's basically just gonna turn to a positive. Then I'm going to subtract a four thirds on both sides. And if you remember, if I was gonna do a four minus a four thirds, I can rewrite the four as four over one, multiply by a three over three. So therefore that's gonna be a 12 over three minus a four over three, which is going to be a eight over three. So now I'm going to have a two X is equal to a eight thirds. Then I'm gonna divide by two on both sides, but remember divided by two is the same thing as multiplying by one half. So therefore I'm going to have a X is equal to a eight over six, which is gonna reduce down to a four thirds. So now my solution point is gonna be the coordinate point four comma three, negative four comma three. 